Welcome back to West Green. This is going to be part 20 of building the DGH O gauge Thompson B1. And uh, also, <coughs> greetings, Manavadanian, Sivara Supramanium, the station master, West Green, without Ruby, the station master's dog. So, what's going on? Well, after all that work, putting on that valve gear, getting close to finishing it, of course, one of the biggest problems with these kits is how do you paint the sodding things? And the worst thing about this is that the cylinders and the motion brackets, they don't bolt on. So, and that's a bit annoying. But anyway, it is what it is. So, and I've got to put other stuff on now, I've got to put sanding gear and and a few other things. So I have decided I've pulled the cylinders off. I wanted to pull the coupling rods off anyway, so I can put in the sanding gear. So I thought I'm going to I've taken the cylinders off very easy because they uh, that's just white metal solder so they come off really easy. I've cleaned it all up and uh, I've decided to solder those on. So I'm going to build all the sanding gear and all the other bits I need to put on. Then I'm going to strip the whole thing down and I'm going to paint everything. What I'm not going to paint is in there. So I'm going to put a little strip over that and on the other side because there's a bracket to go on that. So I figured I can paint the cylinders separately, spray everything uh, without that strip and then using a bit of low melt solder, I can put that back on. Anything I can't get to with, a air, with an airbrush, I can then touch up with a, with a brush. It's only going to be matte black or satin anyway. So at the end of the day, it should all come out well. Oh, I've got to put the buffers on and the vac pipe and all that sort of caper. But I'm aiming to get this thing finished. So we'll see how we go. So. As part of this uh, chassis build, I'm adding on uh, the sanders. I've pulled most of the stuff off. The other thing is too, unlike a lot of kits, the, the buffer beam at the front is part of the chassis, not the body. So I was going to put the buffers on, on the steam pipe and also the uh, vacuum pipe. When I noticed that I've got the vacuum pipe round the wrong way, the wrong one. This one here should be on the loco. The one that goes, where is it? The one that goes on the tender is a slightly different shape. So as part of uh, trying to get things right and doing the best I can, as much as it's annoying, I'm gonna take this one off, put the right one on. Better to do it now and live with it and know that I should have done it earlier. So it's a simple matter to uh, put a new vac pipe on. Also, there's a nice little hole in the back so I could put the vac pipe to the side. I'm not going to paint it now. When I paint the chassis, I'll pull this apart. And the good thing is, I can uh, just put another coat of primer on. It'll be fine. So that's going to go back in the box now. Okay, continuing on, I um, I spent my last couple of days. I pulled off all the cylinders because I've worked out how to paint this. I've got to put on... Um, uh, sanding pipes so I want to pull the wheels off I'll put them on but in the, in, in the process I had to fit the chassis which didn't quite fit so I did a bit of um, uh, had to do a bit of hacking down here um, it should have fitted it did fit it before but somehow I, who knows so once I got it to sit down on the body I hadn't put on the uh, fixing screws which I've forgotten so these were tapped anyway, but there's two white metal stretchers, one there and uh, one down there. With this one, I had to put it, I had to bolt it down, put the chassis on, then white metal solder it. Same here, only the difference is some of the detail on the, uh, on the horn guides on the inside, you've got to cut away. Um, as you can see on the left hand side, you can see the detail there. Well, on the right hand side, you've got to remove that. Here's the funny thing the instructions say 
uh, to remove this if you want to remove the screw if you want to remove the screws. And I'm thinking, are they serious? How are you going to build a loco where you never can remove the body? That's I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, so. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to continue on adding detail to the uh, chassis, the sanders, also these brackets which are soldered on. I'm going to remove them, I'm going to locate those down or up, I should say, so that they sit on the um, uh, foot plate. So there are a few of the things I need to do. The other thing is when I was straightening out the chassis, bits fell off. Uh, what did I lose? They've only just unsoldered the frame extension that come off uh, The front plate goes in there that come off Buffer came off because that was due to heat and also a, a, the I knocked the steam pipe so I've taken that off. So basically what I'm going to do now I've got all this sorted. I can uh, rest um, Restore those and continue on so here's the sanding oh, nozzle. Let's get that bit off. The sand pipe goes on that, and on this one goes the steam pipe. So someone suggested you actually, well, they actually suggested throwing these away and making your own ones up, or drilling into them and putting your wire inside. But I figured that's going to be a bit difficult. So what I've done using my Dremel and uh, slitting disc I've halved this and I've this is about 0.8 wire I've halved that so what I'm going to try and do is solder it and hopefully you won't see the joint I've decided to do this with a resistance soldering iron I've got it clamped down you can see where the joint is just in there, so I'm going to put some phosphoric acid flux on it. Let's move that out of the way. Now I'm going to use electrical solder because uh, when I, that way when I attach it to the body with something else, some other solder, it should be okay. And where's my foot pedal? Make sure it's turned on. Oh yeah. This is going to be a bit difficult. Let's get out of the way. Whether this is a success, who knows. Don't bring that flux, will you? Let's reflux it. I have no idea. Let's have a look. Well, back to these uh, sanders. I tried using these. To be honest, I couldn't. I can't get on with them. Um, I don't know why DJH didn't cast this as one piece with the um, with uh, the sand pipe uh, and the steam pipe on the end, so you can bend it. So what I've done. Anyway, let's put that one down. So what I've done, I've got some, uh, that's point, that's point eight eight uh, rod, 
and that just fits in this tube so what I did and I've got some other thinner ones so what I've done I've decided to uh, manufacture my own so here's one so I just slipped I actually soldered this on first and bent it to go into the sandbox not exactly in it because obviously you can take the body off so I can't really do that so what I did is I bent it roughly to the shape slipped a collar on I cut that off with a Dremel and opened it out a bit slipped it on and I got some wire this represents a steam pipe to be honest once that's painted I think it's gonna look it'll look okay so uh, yeah so that's it so I've got to put another one on that side and two on the other side I've got two on They'll obviously have to be cleaned up but that's alright uh, I've got two on to put on this side 